Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms. Uh, your host with uh, not the most. How y'all doing, folks? Y'all doing all right? Today we're on Blake Farm. As I said, I think this is episode six. And uh, I stepped out here and I was, whoa, saw the sign in my front yard here. Got uh, Michigan Cent Sentinel, Sentinel Farm. Owned by the same family over 100 years, the Historical Society of Michigan. Wow, a hundred years. And I see the semi truck in my yard. I'm gonna go check on the chickens. But I'm wondering why semi trucks parked in my yard instead of in the field. So let's go check. Nobody tells me think what, what, what. What in the world? Are we lined up for a convoy or something? What's going on here? Jason, Boo, Colin, Mr. Yankee. Uh, everybody tells me nothing around here no more. Anyway, folks. <laughs> that's what it seems like, don't it? Um, last night, you see, that don't say a thousand no more. I chaffed some chaff. Of course, I don't know how much is left in it to that work because the screen right here don't work. That works, but that don't. Okay. Um, the field around here, corn field, it's gone, folks. We finished it last night about 1130. So let's see what we got in the door here. Oh my lord, we have two deers loaded with corn. Loaded with corn, folks. Uh, I guess it would help if I turn my HUD on here. Yes, I know the wool pallet is full. Uh, this one here has got 9,409 liters in it. And the other one is full. Uh, 16,333. That's why everything's out in the front yard, folks. Ran out of room. Just luckily, that combine held the last three. And uh, all this other stuff's full. Um, let's get the semi going first. He's got the longest haul. Which we are going to go. Start my motor first. To our main farm. So, cow farm. No, not north. Main. Yeah, right here we go. Main. Main farm. Now, cow farm to main farm. That's what I want. And drive course. Stop at the last. Who's driving this? Uh, I don't say out there. Uh, Hepper Conrock. All right, Conrock. Nice to see you driving my semi. I ain't seen you in a while, too, buddy. What happened to you? Well, farming life's getting you, too, ain't it? All right, this guy here is uh, the double trailers. So we're going to go to the main farm with it also. So same thing. Should be at the top one. Yep. Drive course. Stop at the last. Now we got J-Metal 797. All right, brother deliver that corn to my main farm this guy here he's gonna go to the pig farm that's right cow farm please yep to the pig farm All right, drive course stop at the last and minimal Michelle minimal Michelle all right girl keep up it keep up the hard work now this one we're gonna drive it ourselves. Uh, we're gonna go check on the cows. Uh, speaking of which, we had a cow last night, literally. Uh, sheep's up to 109, our cows are 51. So we had one cow and I think two sheep's since the last episode. Um, also, you're probably wondering why we're uh, Pretty much still where we left off with money. Been cutting some trees, folks. I'm, uh, 
actually dropped down pretty low. You know, cut some trees and stuff, and that helped out. But this load of corn is going to go over here, and this is not going to empty those combines, I don't think. But we're going to get started on beans. Oh, it would. Alright, since it's emptying out there, check the chickens. Chickens are good. Chickens are good. Uh, we can't cut, start cutting beans quite yet because it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I want to do get off this a little bit, so we're going to fast forward time. Go ahead and get these combines out. Yeah. If I can get to them. There we go. Um... I still got by a header for one of these. Um, I don't know where we're going to park the corn headers. But um, I got to figure out where our other head at, our grain head for one of them somewhere. There we go. We got the pipe out. I'm going to shut it off here when the name gets back or done. A chicken has been born. Alright. Everything's getting born around here. This former dynasty, I'd be having their wife by about now. She might be having a baby. No, I'm just kidding, folks. I, I've been watching uh, Peanut and Rude Man 53 on Farmer's Dynasty. Y'all need to go check them out. They're pretty neat. Uh, Rude Man does other videos and stuff. Uh, Peanut does House Flipper. And Farmer's Dynasty. And uh, uh, I think he might do another one. So, too. I'm not for sure. Oh, don't, don't hit. Ooh. Alright, let's go check her trailer here. Alright, we are empty. Good. Don't run over the chickens. Don't run over the chickens. I'm going to drive through here. The chickens will let me. And several guys have done made it down there. I'm going to wait for one more waypoint pop up for Minimal Michelle to reach the her trigger. Right, I think that will work. Ah. Oh, I got hitting the wrong one. I gotta turn my speed down. I ain't supposed to get in on this side. But, right. uh, safe to unload. Alright, one's in the traffic. Oh, okay, that's, that's why. Well, I can solve that. Stop driver. Let's close this out. Uh, yeah, I've decided, folks, to wait till the next warming season to get the bigger combines. Uh, we'll go ahead and use what we got to get the, the beans, the soybeans, and the, uh, the, 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 the canola out. I just think there for a second. Right, right, that one's empty in. Oh, come on, man. I know better than to try to start the engine while it's still in course play. I wish it would start up over without it. But anyway, I know the video's probably lagging because it looks like it's lagging every once in a while, and I'm sorry about that. Um... Like I said, I'm pre-recording these when y'all see it. Uh, I, it might be still lagging. It might be not. I don't know. All I know, I'm using OBS Streamlabs. Hey, my phone's charged. And uh, OBS, the regular OBS is really lagging. I'm getting only like six frames per second or whatever it go by. FPS, frames per second. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have it. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, unload. Back. Not grain door. 
Leia. Well, I guess it's gonna be Grain Door. Okay, well, um, let's see who's this one is. Right? Oh, there's Metal on the Shell. Stop driver. I, I did move the grain tank and made a road on this side of it. Chop down some more trees. That one's just make a circle. And uh, I think it'd be a little bit more easier getting our stuff in and out. Now that I made, I don't know how many trips that I made down here. Now before I empty this, let me check see what it's on. Uh, yes, I made three loads. Yeah, there you go, auto save. So 21, 21, 21 will be 63. So this will be the fourth load, and it's still not full. Oh, and that one's dumped sideways. You go figure. Now I still ain't laid down a straw thing yet. Oh, now you're full. You're full now. 75,000 is what it's going to hold. I don't know if that's all the way across. Okay, so the rest of this is going to go to the main farm. Let's see. I'm just going to use cow farm to main farm. It will still work. Just got to get out here on the highway. Now time's flying, already 7.30. But, um, folks, it's already 12 minutes in. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready. Get all the guys back to the cow farm, get lined up so we can cut the soybeans and stuff. And I will return in a flash, okay? It'll be just a hop, jump, skip. Okay? Believe me, trust me, it won't be that long. Alright, be right back. All right, everybody, look at this mess we got here. What is all going on, man? It's time for soybean harvest. Let's go ahead and get this combine here going, and then uh, we'll talk about some other things. Not with the truck. I love the inside this. It's pretty much accurate. Pretty much I don't know what that thing is. Very hot. The one right above the windshield is accurate. Yeah, I can't see my throat to so I'm hoping I'm doing right. There we go. And another way to throw it is that
I think we're going to load this in first. It's going to go for the pigs. Where is the other guy? Okay, I'm going to go around. Oh, I guess I got to turn. They help. No attention to the group of stuff in the woods there. Um, I shall be ready. Why ain't it cut? It has to be because uh, that hill up there belongs. Where's those? Uh, This right here, I bought this truck. Um, it's to get slurry. This is by Custom Harvesting Incorporated. Wheat, soybeans, and corn. One of their trucks. We bought it from me. Uh, bought a slurry tanker. Put slurry in here. That makes bio, bio fuel, fuel. And uh, this is fertilizer. We got liquid fertilizer and seeds here is what it makes but as you can see right here folks we have fertilizer fertilizer 97 percent full um i know this ain't realistic i'm sorry but i'll show y'all some this barn right here now y'all watch it real closely bam it went inside here i look like we're on the top shelf so uh, that's what we got in there right now. There's 26 seeds and three fertilizers. Um, I think one pallet equals four bags or four spaces. Something like that. Anyway, that's what we got in there. Um, so we're going to fill this up. And hopefully when we go plant, we'll have everything we need. And of course, I did buy this. It's what I used to push all those seed pallets over there. Uh, also, I need this to load the fertilizer from over into this thing. Which one we're not making seeds, we can move it closer. But I just wanted to demonstrate this to make sure it was working. Out. Um, Dark light gaming's in the house.
Hotel Hover and Tony The first half of this video is a performance of OVA and the last one, the last 15, well, the first 15 minutes was screen left in the last very much of a harvest, but we got it done. All right here, we are going to officially go. All we got to do now is go duck our last bit to the spot of the trailer here. Trailer over there, the single trailer filled up. And we'll this first trailer almost full. Uh, oh, wait, I'm going to check here. Yeah, I got the first one. I hope.
just going to grab her up. I'm probably going to start on the Noah off screen a little bit. That's a pretty good size field. Let's go on our map real quick so y'all can see it. Uh, right here, field 10. Um, I want to at least do a couple of rounds in it. And probably get this right here squared up. And um, the next episode we'll probably just uh, do a couple minutes. And then do a couple minutes and do a couple minutes till we get it down. Um, these are down here. We'll probably see them next episode uh, it is part of the uh, got a 98 GMC farm truck that's down there and the uh, Ford tractors down there um, gonna be some construction work probably through here we're gonna put some beehives up down in here in the woods um, probably gonna have a road going across here maybe give or take maybe a road up through here I'm not for sure but uh, that's some of the things to come um, four and seven are ready to uh, harvest again I believe they are growing really fast yeah see they're already ready to harvest again I'm not going to do it again because I do have quite a bit you you seen let's go to this tractor real quick before we leave um 80 85 30 yeah 85 30 job here uh most powerful tractor we got besides the t8 let's grab the uh five shank right there of subsoil you can see what i did right there there's a tree here and we got two little there this tree um got from what about the edge of the right screen right there you see that last bell there up to the road to do This is the same. I'm fixing to insert a clip right now of midnight last night. Last night when everything was taken out at midnight that will be inserted now. I forgot to do it. Plus been done at the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna do it now so you can expect what's probably gonna be taken out tonight at midnight. Maybe a little bit more because we was running out of time. I'm going to run over here and grab it to the tractor. But folks, that's going to wrap it up. I hope y'all had a great time. Like I said, there's no way you jump into a tractor. Uh, soybeans, I think we're going to take care of the grain tanks. And I do have bad news for the grain tanks. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.